I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. Not without you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, Careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see until it was almost too late. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, 
she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money every single month. It's our arrangement. But now... She yes. wants to see me? But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel... I think I need to lie down.
can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew? Then again, so is Frank. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. It's so weird to look at this now. I believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. Hey, <laughs> cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this? Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... 
Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. I wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? <sighs> you have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. <sighs> this is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. I'm depending on you to keep Rachel safe, Chloe. Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay.
to show Rachel that I'm here for her. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Cool light. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through.
Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said, Rachel was incredible as Prospera. <laughs> I won't forget a second of it. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. May you always be safe. But from who? Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Check it out. It's... beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. Fuck the stars. We can make our own. Yeah. <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, 
my real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. That she's here right now. That she came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. <laughs> you do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her... I... How do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life used to be the only part that mattered. I 
I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? <laughs> Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about stories told by idiots, full of sound and fury, signifying fuck all? Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic, floodlights, sound effects, Chloe, look at me, look at me sweetheart, it's going to be okay.
Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Ugh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. It's way too early to be up on a Sunday. Stan Stanwick here, bringing you up to the minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The Seder. Wonder Please what I can Sergeant find Alex out about Keller Rachel's mom. The Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Fortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small town like Arcadia Bay would be safe from things like that. Well, um, the problem is what? these drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. All kinds of people get involved. Rich, poor, teens, adults. So it can spread to any community. Does the ABPD have Nice to see my work is appreciated. I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district attorney's office to get to the bottom of it. Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. Rachel really is good at everything she does. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Hang in there, Skip. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Huh. Almost forgot I had this. 
I haven't played with it since, uh, ever. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. <laughs> nope. Argentina, Neruda's journey through the mountains. Dad used to love that story. I'll visit one day. No, I gotta get moving. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? I'd say I went down in a place of glory. believe that David went through my stuff. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? Uh, better than nothing. You're welcome, plant. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is... Mom playing music? Huh. shithole forever. I wonder who gave this to Mom. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell?
if it really is moving in. Remember this? Mom loved it. Wait, is today Mother's Day? Shit. <sighs> Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? Mom actually sold her ring for three hundred dollars. Cause nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Sports cars are really good for <laughs> hitting on chicks. Hope you know a good body shop. <laughs> Getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. No, oh. <laughs> not skipping my shower. Is that. David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Gross. I really hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. A logical place for a towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. No awesome pirate towel. I don't even know what's in there. <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down.
One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. I can avoid mom or David. <laughs> <laughs> 